Well, hello there, Assurance Heroes. This is the A-Plan podcast. A is for Assurance, and this is your weekly audit and risk talk show. We're the A-Team. He's Emre, the tech guy. Here is Emre, the communication guy. All right, so what do we got for you this week? So this week, we're going to be asking this question. What's the most important sentence of each detail finding write-up in your audit report? The audit report. It's a headache, right? Do you like writing audit reports, Emery? Did you ever like writing them? What's your prediction for the fight then? Prediction? Yes, prediction. Pain. Well, uh, to be honest with you, uh, that was the part that I enjoyed the most because unlike many auditors that I know. Controversial. Uh, <laughs> I, I really uh, enjoyed writing the report. I mean, each and every part of it, uh, it yeah. was a great pleasure for me. Sometimes, I, especially when I first started, it wasn't an easy test at all. Uh, but uh, after some time, I guess I get used to the, yeah. the you know, need to be the details of, a, of the report writing, yes. Yeah, you want to get to that point, right? Mm. Because at the end of the day, it's your product. So it's the, yes. it's, the, it's a value that you're giving to the organization. It's, you know, it's, it's the interesting things that you found. You want to get to that point. But I think, like anywhere, it comes to a point, it can be such a mammoth thing. It can be such a big task. It's like, where do I start with this? And I think whenever we're consulting with a company, whenever we're reviewing reports, whenever we get a new corporate client and they say, have a look at our audit reports, it's always the same thing. It's like, how can we tighten up our findings, our reports long? How can we make it more high impact? How can we make it more, more engaging? So the advice I would give for this one the most important sentence of your entire audit report without question uh, of your, of your detail finding se section is the finding title. Now, the finding title ultimately is the thing that every single reader is going to read without question. If, if you want to look at it from this perspective, we know, we know how people read newspapers, how they read magazine, how, how, how they absorb media. It hasn't changed throughout history. So what we do, we look at pictures, then we read the headline. 80% of people read the headline, only 20% go on to read the whole article. So that finding title is essentially important. What should, we, what should, what should they be doing with the finding title? What do you think, Emery? What will be your, your shock with the finding well, title? To me, the, 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 the findings and the titles, uh, to be specific, are part of the story because I mean the, yeah. your audit, yeah, yeah, you're, you're telling you're t telling me about the story, you know. Yeah. Uh, so it's really key that you uh, pay attention to what you say. I mean, I've seen yeah, many yeah. Uh, many uh, headers like uh, governance or very yeah, short yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, headers which doesn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. About the about the risk, so it should be self-explanatory to me. I mean. When you look at only at the title, just like on the on the news uh, newspapers, when you look at the, the title, uh, it should give you the uh, the empathy, uh, yeah, yeah, appetite to 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 go further to yeah. look at the details of the finding. Slow ahead. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chump some of this shit. It's got to be the hook, right? Clear. Just like with a newspaper, it's got to be, be a hook, the thing that hooks you and, and, and pulls you in, the thing that gets your attention, right? Um, I think when you look at it, when you look at the reader experience as well, um, when, when, you're, when your auditee, when your client, your process owner, when they get that report for the first time, it's highly likely that it's going to create a stress reaction, right? Sure. To get that report is some sort of appraisal. It's your feedback on what they found on your processes. So the heart's going to be racing. There's going to be a stress reaction. They can't digest things in that, in that frame of mind clearly. So what they want to be able to do is, is turn through the page and understand what's wrong. So you need to tell them what's wrong with the finding title. That, that's, that's what they want to know, what's wrong, hook into that and, and let them know. Look, you were, you were talking about this. I got some examples, right? So these are some examples from um, audit reports that we reviewed over the, over the years, right? So here's, here's one, stock management. 
I wasn't telling you. Stock management. Why? <laughs> what about the stock management? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it is it happy? Is it sad? What's going on? Like business continuity planning strategy details. Like like all right. Is there a plan? Isn't there a plan? Has it got details? It has it hasn't it got details? So you'll see those sort of shorter ones. Um, I think another thing that you'll see is where you'll see things like this. Consider reducing credit limits which are not utilized or improve on uh, site stock dispatch and record keeping. See, the problem with that is you're giving a recommendation. Guys are just talking. Talking la 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 like this is business as usual. It's not. We're trying to solve the problem here, Billy. Not like this, you're not. You're not even looking at the problem. We're very aware of the problem. I mean, okay, good. What's the problem? But if I'm going to understand the recommendation, I need the context of the problem, right? What is the problem that it solves? Mm -hmm. Like if I say to you, like, mix a solution of, um, of washing up liquid in, in, in uh, 200 milliliters of water, dab it, onto the, dab it onto the area and leave a kitchen towel, you're going to say, why the hell am I doing it? What are you talking about? Why would I do this? Because it's a kind of solution, right? Solution to what? Like, it's a solution to how to get red wine out of your carpet, right? So if you don't know what the problem is, then the solution doesn't mean anything to you in the first place. So the thing to do with your finding title in that sentence is to tell them what's wrong. Because your stressed out reader, your auditee, that's exactly how they're going to read your report. They're going to open it. They're going to look at the... Um, the risk rating, they're going to read the finding title, turn the page, read the next one, turn the page, read the next one. That's what they're going to do with your report. This is the end. beautiful friend. Final thoughts? Yeah, well, uh, you know, the objective of reports, I think, we should always keep this in mind. It's to persuade readers. Uh, it's yes. to create impact. It's, it's really about, it's all about... Uh, uh, having them uh, take action. Yeah. So unless you you have really a, a hook uh, in that title, uh, you cannot really persuade them to take action. So yeah, it's yeah. really key that any auditor should focus on 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 the titles, and it's a it's a very sensitive uh, issue. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. That, I, I couldn't say it better myself. You know, you can't close those gaps. You can't perform those recommendations. So use the opportunity that the title provides to hook their interest, to tell them what's wrong. If you can catch them, if you can engage them, if you can make an impact, they'll read it. If not, forget about it. No one's going to read your report. Very good. Okay, so what time is it? If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. So it's A-Team time. If you have an assurance problem, if no one else can help you, then we can because we're your assurance agony ants. If you have any questions, anything you'd like us to talk about or answer for you, drop us an email. The address is theaplan at zohomail.eu, and we'll try our best to help you out. You can find that email address in the first comment below. So thank you very much, Assurance Heroes. That's it for this week. This has been the A Plan podcast. A is for assurance. And remember, when your A plan is good, you don't need no B plan. <laughs>